Hey guys, I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here at the SET Awards celebrating science, engineering, and technology and entertainment. We're going to be talking to some of the biggest brains in entertainment. Are we all set? Okay guys, um, just ask you a few questions real quick. Sure. Awesome. So uh, what brings you out to support the awards today, guys? Well, uh, I'm a huge fan of Bob here and anything with his name on it, I think, uh, I, think I, I, have to, I have to take that and, nice. and uh, with honor. And I'm a huge Brad fan with uh -huh. all the movies he's on, starting with the Iron Giant. Yeah. So the fact that I have a named trophy, guess who gets it this time? It couldn't that's, be better. That's so awesome. It's uh, synergistic. Yes. <laughs> Very nice. What do you guys think about you know education and technology being uh, portrayed more in entertainment? I mean, do you feel like it's come a long way? Do you feel like it, you know there's still more work to be done? Well, on uh, the film that I'm I'm doing now, Tomorrowland, which is, you know, Bob basically helped invent the original Tomorrowland. Um, it's kind of, you know, the question that is asked is, you know, what, what happened to the future? You know, the future used to be different. And uh, in Bob's day, the future was seen, you know, uh, unmistakably with optimism. And, and that's changed a little. And, and uh, I think, you know, I, I want to know why, because uh, people like Bob, uh, science is not a, a dirty word, it's something that we need to embrace, I think, and, and teach. And Bob teaches, uh, uses um, the, many of the things that he helped design at Disneyland as a way to teach kids now. Right, for example, I uh, work with Starbase, you know, as part of the STEM programs, and I get to teach fifth graders math is actually fun. It is, I agree. You can design a roller coaster with it, That's and cool. I use the analogy of uh, uh, skateboards going down a little hill. Uh -huh. The kids cannot understand neutral slope, you know, some of the technical terms, yeah. and they absorb it in about 30 minutes without knowing that they were learning math. Exactly, very relatable. Right. <laughs> can you tell us a little bit more about Tomorrowland, or is it still secret? Uh, it's pretty secret. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those guys. <laughs> I'm one of those guys that doesn't like to ruin a story. You know, so uh, uh, I would just say that it's it's uh, it's kind of wild and and uh, uh, not like anything else out there, and we're all very excited about it. Awesome. And we're expecting that May 2015. May 22nd, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 22nd. yeah. For sure, date there then. I'm pretty sure that. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much, you guys. You. Nice All right. meeting you. All right. Nice thank meeting you. you. All right. Thanks okay. for watching, guys. Be sure to hit like to like this video. Also, subscribe for more interviews and leave me a comment with your favorite science-based television show. How are you? I'm good. I'm Quinn. I'm Brad. Nice to meet you. That's my wife Liz. She looks beautiful. Thank I saw you. her from even your sunglasses, everything. Anyway, yeah. sorry. And this Adorable. Is Bob. He looks beautiful. Hi, I'm Hi, Quinn. How you do? Nice to oh, meet you. you. Get the hug too. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Girls always get the hug. Yay. <laughs> okay, are we all set? 